Hello there, welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be solving a really nice radical equation where we have the square root of negative x minus the square root of x equals 1. So first of all, let's go ahead and talk about the domain of this equation. So we have two square roots, therefore we will have two restrictions. The first square root indicates that negative x should be non-negative, which means that x should be less than or equal to 0. However, the second one indicates that x should be greater than or equal to 0. And since we want these two to work at the same time, we need to find the intersections of these two intervals. And that is x equals 0. But if we go ahead and plug in x equals 0 into our equation, we will find out that it won't satisfy our equation. Because we will have the square root of negative 0 minus the square root of 0, which is 0 minus 0, which is 0. And it is not 1. Therefore, 0 doesn't satisfy our equation, and we can say that there is no real solution for this radical equation. Therefore, we need to focus on complex solutions, and for that, we need to solve our equation. And in order to solve our equation, I'm going to go ahead and use two methods. In the first method, I'm going to solve the equation as I solve any other radical equation. So whenever we have a radical equation with two square roots, we move one of them to the other side and then square both sides to get rid of one of the square roots. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and move this one to the right hand side and isolate this one. So we will have the square root of negative x equals the square root of x plus one. Then in order to get rid of the square root on the left hand side, let's go ahead and square both sides. So we will have negative x equals x plus one plus 2 times the square root of x. Next, in order to isolate the square root on the right-hand side, we need to go ahead and move these two to the left-hand side. So we will have negative 2x minus 1 equals 2 times the square root of x. Again, we need to go ahead and square both sides to get rid of the square root. So we will have 4x squared plus 4x plus 1 equals 4x. Next, we need to subtract 4x from both sides to get rid of this and this. So we will end up with 4x squared plus 1 equals 0, which means that 4x squared equals negative 1, and that means that x squared equals negative 1 fourth. Now, in order to solve for x, we need to take the square root of both sides, so we will have x equals positive or negative, the square root of negative 1 over 4. Now notice that we all know that the square root of a divided by b can be expressed as the square root of a divided by the square root of b. Therefore, I can go ahead and say that x is equal to positive or negative, the square root of negative 1 divided by the square root of 4. Notice that the square root of negative 1 is i and the square root of 4 is 2. So x is equal to positive or negative i over 2. Great, so this brings us to the end of the first method. So let's go ahead and talk about the second method. And before we're doing that, let's go ahead and rewrite the original equation. So it was the square root of negative x minus the square root of x equals 1. So in the second method, I'm going to go ahead and use the identity that says that i squared equals negative 1. So I can go ahead and say that the square root of negative x is the same thing as the square root of negative 1 multiplied by the square root of x, right? And then I can replace negative 1 with i squared. So I will have this. And then I can pull out the square root of x on the left hand side. So we will have the square root of x times the square root of i squared, which is positive or negative i, minus 1 equals 1. So we have two cases, either the square root of x times i minus 1 equals 1, or the square root of x times negative i minus 1 equals 1. Let's go ahead and try to solve for x in both of these cases. In the first case, we have the square root of x times i minus 1 equals 1. That means that the square root of x equals 1 over i minus 1. And now, in order to solve for x, we need to square both sides. So we can say that x equals 1 
over i minus 1 quantity squared. That means that x equals 1 over i squared plus 1 minus 2i. Notice that i squared is negative 1, and that means that x is equal to 1 over negative 1 plus 1 minus 2i. Therefore, we have x equals 1 over negative 2i. And now, in order to get rid of i in the bottom, we need to multiply this by i over i. So we get x equals i over negative 2i squared. Again, i squared is negative 1. So x is equal to i over 2. Great, so this is the first solution. Let's go ahead and talk about the second case, where the square root of x times negative i minus 1 equals 1. So we have the square root of x times negative i minus 1 equals 1. That means that the square root of x equals 1 over negative i minus 1. And therefore, if we square both sides, we get x equals 1 over i squared plus 1 plus 2i. Again, i squared is negative 1. That means that x is equal to 1 over 2i. Now, in order to get rid of i in the bottom, we need to multiply this by i divided by i. So I can say that we have x is equal to i over 2i squared, which means that x is equal to i over negative 2, which means that x is equal to negative i divided by 2. Great, so this was the second solution from the second method. And this brings us to the end of this video. Hopefully you enjoyed watching this. If you did, hit the subscribe button and hit the like button. And I'll see you later. Goodbye for now.